Now it's time for activities with a little bit of tequila. Stay tuned. Welcome back to So You Want to Travel, where I give you tips and tricks that I've learned along the way of being a travel agent for 22 years. As we saw last week, there's so much more to Mexico than the beaches, but it is surrounded by water. So there have to be some other type of water activities, wouldn't you think? Well, there are. Interested in whale watching? Well, you can see gray whales, blue whales, and humpback whales from Baja, California, down to Oaxaca. You can see gray whales in the area closer to Cabo, and a great way to view them is in a glass bottom boat. The best chance to see them is going to be January through April. In Cabo, you also have the opportunity to go deep sea fishing. In Nayarit and Mazatlan, you have the opportunity to see the humpback whales. In Nayarit, it's going to be November to April. Mazatlan is going to be December to March. Humpback whales aren't the only sea life in the area. You also have the opportunity to see dolphins, sea lions, and killer whales. Now the blue whale is one of the whales that you'll have to wait a while for because they do stay deeper much longer. But you can view them in Bahia de Loreto. <laughs> but they can be viewed at Loreto Bay. <laughs> Can't pronounce it. Loreto Bay. And the best time to see them is going to be January to April. Moving on to culture, you can find a lot in the capital city of Mexico, which is Mexico City. There, not only will you find some of the largest pre-Columbian pyramids, they have famous museums, and wonderful architecture. San Miguel de Allende has beautiful colonial architecture with beautiful cobblestone streets and colorful painted buildings. And if you're a foodie, this is definitely one of the places that you want to put on your list to visit. Lastly is Puerto Vallarta, which has great beaches colonial architecture, and again, for foodies, wonderful food. The Romantic Zone is lined with historical buildings and a number of restaurants to enjoy. You may be wondering, well, how do I get these tours? Well, there is a company that I use called Viator, and they're linked down below. They can pretty much help you with any tour that you're interested in in any of these areas that I've mentioned in Mexico. And that includes golfers, because there's a number of golf courses that are very popular. Most of them are in Cabo, but you can also golf in Puerto Vallarta and also the Riviera Maya. I do have an honorable mention and that is tequila tasting. The reason why I'm including this is because tequila is part of the Mexican heritage and so this is a unique activity that you can join. There are four main cities that are producing tequila so if you happen to be in those areas definitely do a wine tasting 
Even if you're not in those areas, you can find wine tastings around Mexico. I hope this gives you an idea of different activities that you can do in Mexico. Maybe things that weren't on your mind, but it has so much to offer. Enjoy it for its beaches, for its culture, for its architecture, for its history. And again, don't forget, if you need assistance in reference to tours while you're on your visit to Mexico, Viator can definitely help you out. And again, I have them linked down below. In the meantime, talk to you later.